How are we doing, everybody? Welcome back to Life as a Highway. So let's talk about it. I think we should talk about it. I think so, too. I think it needs to be talked about more. I think we should talk about it more than we already have. We've already talked about it a lot, but we can still talk about it. I think so, too. At least for a couple more episodes. Uh, yeah, welcome back. Uh, this is the podcast after this peanut podcast. We actually don't know what number it is. So no, we, we lost track. On, on YouTube, this will be four. But in real life, it'll be more. <laughs> Six or seven. Whoa, that kind of rhymed. It did rhyme. Yeah, I was, I'm was. i actually a SoundCloud rapper. Do- uh, look me Dr. up. Dr. Seuss? Um, they actually call me Dr. Cease. Dr. Cease. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, no, the Speedo Podcast, that was a lot of fun. He actually said, well, do you want to say what he said? He said it was, he, he didn't remember the last time a 90 minutes was this enjoyable. Yeah. So that, um, that was actually a very... And that is on the record, too. That is on the podcast. Yeah. If you go on YouTube and you uh, go to that podcast, towards the end, you can actually hear him say it. Uh, and it was one of the greatest accomplishments of my life. <laughs> it was very um, heartfelt. It felt like... Um, I'm getting a text. Very unprofessional. That was a call. That was not a text. It was a text. Why do you have a ringtone for text? <laughs> I just chose it one day and it, it stuck. Um, but that's on me. I usually have my ringer off, and I don't know why it's on, but, so that's on me. Timmy uh, J. It's my friend Andrew. He says, dubs, good luck, brother. What uh, did you, uh... Well, so I, I just told him that we were doing the podcast. Oh. Yeah, we should have him on. He should pull up. Tell should I text to, him? Yeah, tell him to pull up. We'll open the door for him. We'll have a random special guest. Pull up to the... Pull up to the podcast room. Hold on. Should I give him a call then? Yeah. All right. This is live and in person. Is he going to answer? Maybe. Okay. He might be in a meeting though. All right. Let's see. Moment of truth, guys. Are you going to call him? Here we go. He's he's being called right now. Hopefully he doesn't say anything too crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Two he's in, I'm scared he's in, that's not a great sign. Three. <laughs> Three rings. I think... Okay, he's still in the meeting. He just texted me. Oh, gotcha. Uh, how long are you in the meeting for? Yeah. No bueno hablar. No, no bueno hablar. I don't know what that means. I don't know what bueno means. Dude, you took two years of Spanish. I Okay, we've talked about this and I didn't do anything. That's fair. I think you did a little bit more than I did, though. How long are you going to be in the meeting? And he says, dot, dot, dot. We were wondering. <laughs> I'm, ju- I'm just narrating up. the whole entire text that I'm writing right now. We were wondering if <laughs> you, if you wanted to, to join pop up, pop up. Yeah. On the podcast. Pop up. Uh, towards the end for a little. Dot, dot, dot. Question mark. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, uh, so I think we should get started, right? I, uh, thought, I thought we already got started. You're the one who got right, but sidetracked like officially, and derailed. Yeah, but hey, it might end up working out in our favor. I think it's going well so far, to be honest. Uh, Andrew Hill, if you were watching this, or if you're listening to this, uh, I tried to get you on the podcast, and you didn't want to come. You declined our call. You declined our call. Uh, but hopefully, uh, you're listening to this, and you're like, oh, that's, uh, that's me. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so, uh, well, how was your day, action? How did that go? Um, to be honest... Uh oh. Oh wow, I feel like I'm being so rude. I'm like scrolling through um Instagram. <laughs> no, I'm I'm looking for pants. <laughs> wow. I'm um I need pants for my uh-huh. senior photo shoot. As anybody needs pants. Right, you know, as one would. Um, um but my day I so I, I was walking. Tim asked me how my day was and then <laughs> answer the question. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm I'm answering or I'm just giving them context because I know what you're about to say. Okay, okay. Go ahead. So I saw I saw her walking. And the, oh yes, he the does first, know what I'm the, about to say. the first thing she says is, uh, "My body hurts," <laughs> and I said, "I can tell because she looked like she was about to." I was going through it. <laughs> she looked like she was in genuine pain. Uh, so I opened the door for her. Oh, we have a text back. Oh, 
It goes till 6.30, then I need to eat. Give me a heads up for the next one, though, and I'll be down, though. There's, okay. Tell him there's no heads up. It's only two minutes before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell him that. Um, <laughs> but uh, I guess we have our next guest, Andrew Hill, everybody. Not right now, uh, obviously. Oh, the yeah. next episode. Yeah. Uh, we'll do Buddy. But, yeah, Tim is right. Um, my body hurts today. Um, well, actually, let's just start with last night. Last night. This is my first mistake. Never go out on a school night. I don't ever go out on a school night. But yesterday, Sunday, mm -hmm. it was somebody's birthday. I went to another campus, somehow ended up at somebody's birthday party till 2 a.m. this morning. Okay. I did not drive. Okay, that's good. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess. I My 8 a.m. was canceled, so it was all fine. One of Spina's people picked you up? Uh, I wish. I wish. <laughs> Remember, we did talk about him that was, getting yeah. me a chauffeur. I don't think he went for it, but... I actually went to see him. Uh, you, in his office? The, the next day, yeah. I should go pull up then. Um, yeah, he uh, just said thank you. He said uh, it was a very fun time. That's great. And then he, he posted us on his Instagram. I thought that was just a story. It was like actually No, no, no. Th page? This is on his Instagram. Oh, I think I saw that. We're we're famous now. I do you I get followers so. off of like, that? I got followers after. Uh, no, I didn't really get any followers. Oh, uh, I'm well, because we'll I, I wasn't the record. I wasn't tagged because he doesn't know my Instagram. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah, I think he tagged mine. It says lot lots of yucks doing a podcast with Cece and Tim tonight. I don't even know what yucks means. Me neither. I was like, did it? Did I thought it he misspelled. Or... <laughs> I thought he misspelled something. I thought he spelled uh, the word wrong. Yeah, so that. I guess we get an Urban Dictionary. I don't know if what that give us. It might be on an Urban Dictionary. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'll finish telling the listeners about my yeah, day. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, so I went to my 9 a.m. and then I took a quiz or a test in my 10 o'clock class, and I studied for this test, guys. I studied so freaking hard. That's never a good sign. Um, <laughs> and when I tell you I get there, and it's physics, I'm a communications major. Why am I taking physics, Heather? Shout out to Heather Parsons, the best counselor there is. But still, Heather, why am I taking physics? Anyway, so, yeah, I got a 70 on it. And I was answering those questions, and I swear I had at least an 85. Anyway, so I bombed the quiz, or the test, it's not a quiz. And then I go to practice, and man, my coach is like, you look good running today. I don't feel good. My body is dead. It's fried. And he's like, you look good. You look good. Then I'm like, all right, cool. So then I have to go get my dress taken in for Rudy's next week. It's this award ceremony. I feel like I've talked about it before. A couple of times. Yep, yep, uh, let me ask you, is okay. the event sponsored by Lee's? <laughs> Go ahead. Shout out to Lee's Chicken, everybody. <laughs> uh, this is a shriek now that we, that we've done uh, for a little bit, and and uh, it's definitely one of the most uh, popular, I'd say. Yeah, guess. yeah. Uh, once again, Lee's, if uh, you're listening, if you are listening, please sponsor us. Pl we don't even want money. No, 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 no. You could just free chicken. Oh, Every, what was you? What were you thinking? No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, just like an unofficial sponsor. Yeah, I was just thinking a little... You just want a shadow? Well, I, I also would like chicken. Okay, yeah, I was just thinking maybe like once a week we get a free a free chicken something, something. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Well, you're only going to be here for like... That's what I'm saying. We oh, don't even... yeah. This, this is something we need to talk about, but after you finish your how was your day story. Oh, yeah, sorry. We just so derailed. The ADHD is everywhere. This is the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, So I got my dress tailored or altered i don't know what it's called alterations on it's, it no it's tailored okay i thought that was for men's suits i don't think so okay i think yeah you can get a dress tailored but yeah it was too big and i am big in the thighs little in the waist and they don't make clothes for people built like that so um then pretty much i i completely feel that because are you also big in the thighs and little in the waist? No, I'm just like a, <laughs> a, I have bro really broad shoulders and like you know sizable chest and then like very very uh, small waist and legs. Well, it's a good thing you don't have to buy dresses because then they really wouldn't fit you or one piece body suits. I got a couple. Oh yeah, one piece body suits. Yeah, I actually believe you. You wear them for Halloween or in real life. <laughs> I don't have any one piece body suits. <laughs> Um, Sorry, I, I keep interrupting you. It's uh, okay. Your your um 
additions are very um, insightful. Yes. Um, yeah. So then I went to weights, and in my head, every time I get a weights, I'm like, I gotta go hard. I'll never know when I get to lift again, because for some reason that's just such a luxury. And I think I went a little too hard. Last week, I did the craziest thing. That was the end of my story, by the way, and now I'm here. But anyway, <laughs> last week, I did the craziest thing. I'm going to let Tim tell you guys about his day, but I have to finish the story real quick. Sure. I'm in the weight room, and I'm, like, clumsy as is. <sighs> but I do the clumsy things on purpose, so that way when I do clumsy things on accident, it's like, oh, that's just CC. But this... Uh, what do you mean by clumsy things so like, on purpose? So, like, I might, like... You know how like, people are walking, they just trip? Yeah. I'll just trip, like, pretend. So people are like, oh, she's clumsy. So that way when I do something actually clumsy, people are like, oh, that's just her. Okay. So anyway. I, I feel that. Yeah. I wouldn't do it, but oh, I get it. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it lessens the embarrassment. But this this one thing. So, like, I've been in the weight room where I've, like, dropped a bar. Like, it's on my back and I've dropped it. And the person behind me spotting me had to, like, catch it. Or, like, I'm, like, bench pressing and I let go of the weight and I realize it's still on my chest. And I'm like, oh, shit. Somebody. Oh, I mean, shoot. Oh, shoot. Somebody get this off of my chest. Um, and then, you know, another time. Well, this specific time. Yeah, what happened today? Yes. This wasn't today. This was okay. in general. Okay. I have to finish this story. It's almost done, though. Yep. Cool. So. Tim does not want to hear this story. No. I, I... <laughs> yep. Cool. End your story now. All right. So look, I got the, um, I'm at the curl machine, the hamstring curl machine, and I get off of it. I'm a little woozy because in my head, I need to push hamstrings harder than any other muscle. So I get up and I trip over the plates, run smack dab into the um, rack and I like I swear I shattered my shin. I got dizzy, passed out, got back up. It was a lot going on in the two minutes. I got up, got water, sat back down, and everybody was like, "What just happened?" That was the most embarrassing thing that's happened to me in my life. The most embarrassing thing. That yes, that is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. Wow. Because I pretend to be clumsy, but when I actually do something that's like super embarrassing and clumsy, I'm like, dang. Well, that's that. That was actually pretty worth it. That story. Thank you. I, He's I, trying to recover. No, from no, no. I, I knew it was. I knew it was. I said, "Yep, okay." <laughs> in, in the sense of keep going. Okay. Now I he know where the story it. is headed. He didn't want to hear it. Um, your turn. Well, now I got to think of like an embarrassing story because we'll start with your day, and yeah, then while okay. you're doing that, maybe you could think about maybe what. Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> Um, okay, so my day, uh, wake up at a reasonable hour. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I get up at my 9 a.m. Oh, okay. Wake up at 8.37. That's when I set my <laughs> alarm. No, I set my alarm for really, really weird times. So, like, 9.42. Why? Okay, so you were being serious when you said that. Why? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I just don't really like the... I don't know, like, a clock or... Th- just, I don't know. I like a little bit of oddness i don't know it's do you do the same time every day or do you do random times uh like... for monday wednesday friday it's eight thirty-seven, and then tuesday thursday i don't have class until like twelve thirty. 30 mm. that's not true mm. yes it is yep twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. i have poetry you have, that's the class yeah that's the most embarrassing thing i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> no, i love poetry um so yeah and then so i woke up uh, went to class, had some breakfast. Beautiful day out, most beautiful day I think we've it had. It is very nice outside. Um, got back from class. Uh, watched the Red Sox game. Uh, Baseball start, started at like eleven fifteen. Uh, because it's Marathon Monday, Boston Marathon. Ru- like the running marathon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Boston Marathon. I didn't know that was today. It was. Or month. <laughs> Isn't it more than one day? No, it's it's today. I think I'm thinking of the cycling thing. April 15th. You know the cycling thing? The... Where they cycle across, like, Europe or whatever? <laughs> That's not in Boston, though. Oh! <laughs> sorry, guys. The it's Boston been a Marathon. long day. Go ahead. Sorry. I, I won't interrupt. Uh, yeah, so April 15th every year, uh, my dad's birthday. Happy uh, birthday, Dad. And tax day. And tax day? Do you owe ta- Or, I guess... It's too late. It's too late. So you're done. Uh, you I didn't do your taxes. I didn't have any taxes. 
Um, but if you did, uh, hopefully you got some nice tax returns. I did not get them. Back. Oh, that's tough. Um, yeah. So then I went back to, uh, got some food. Then when I came back from getting food, went to, no, I didn't, I saw, I went to the wreck. I, mm. I got food, then went to the wreck, shot some hoops. I thought uh, you were going to say you lifted. No, no, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> That's not me. Yeah, Sorry. I, I, I tripped over the plates, uh, destroyed my shin, <laughs> pa- passed oh, same, out. Same, same story. Yep, yeah, same, same, same thing. Same. Yep. Okay. Uh, and then as I'm walking back to, to Caldwell, everybody's out in the, you know, mm-hmm. quad. And, as they would, as they yeah, would be. Beautiful you know, day. Out. Beautiful day. Um, and you know, I see my friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I go over and, you know, we kind of just hang out and more people come. Somebody brings a football. I actually, I went back in, I grabbed a chair, like kind of like, it's not like a beach chair, but it's like a folding chair. So I brought it out. And you have that in your room? It, I don't know how to describe it. It's it's like a, it's like a, it's a chair. But anyway, uh, so I brought it out and I, uh, just sat there. And then we played some football, three on three football, or no, I think it was four. Then it was four on four football. Um, and I was just throwing darts. Are you good? Yeah, I'm. See if if it were like actual football, I would dominate. No, oh. I I would just absolutely break every single ball in my body with okay. one tackle. Okay. Um. But since it was just touch football, uh, I you're was, just that good at it. I was the quarterback, and I was just I I was putting the ball where I needed to put it. <laughs> I threw one interception. Um. But you know that that's gonna happen, and, and yeah, one out of and, how many? And, uh, uh, how many passes? Probably yeah, how like many 15, would you say? Probably oh, fifteen. Yeah, you're, we, we didn't play for that long. Your shooting average, your shooting, your passing average is pretty. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and and sometimes you know, you you make a throw and uh, ball goes right to the, to the guy's hands and. Um, sometimes they just can't catch and you can't do nothing about that. Yeah, there there was one in specific that I heard the first throw that I threw, um, right right in the pocket would have been a touchdown. Could have made the catch. Uh, and Are then, you blaming him? No, no, no. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely his fault, but that's okay because it happens. Gotcha. Uh, just like interceptions happen. Yeah, I'm. I made a bad, made a bad read, uh, made a bad pass, and then, and you know. I don't think it was you. If that makes you feel better. No, it was my fault. I don't think so. Yes. But it wasn't. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> um. So that was fun. Uh, I also got an interception. So On defense? I, I was, yeah, I was playing safety. I don't really know how uh, football I, works. I made a good read, and uh, you know, I was able to jump a pass and you know, get the interception. Uh, and then I threw the interception the next gotcha. play. Gotcha. Um, and you know, that's just something that I can't do, and you know, I got to be better at at uh, doing that. But what I was thinking is doing fly football next season with all of those friends. Uh, yeah, you can have um, an emerald team. Yeah. Uh, so I'm part of Catholic Life, and uh, I think I want to do like a Catholic Life uh, intramural f- football league uh, or a team. Put that team together, and then, you know, I think we can do some damage and, and, you know, win a championship. But I was also thinking, like, what if I recorded it like docu-series style? have interviews and, like, film from the games and stuff like that, post it on YouTube or TikTok or something like that. Do you think people would watch that? Watch your highlights from your flag football it's not even. It's not even highlights. It's, like, a document. Each episode is, like, a documentary of each game. Oh, have you seen... Sorry, this is on topic, but have you seen, like, the TikTok of the one guy that coaches the... Um, sorority basketball game the yep, sorority yep, 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 yep. so like that kind of kind of like that but a little bit more like storylines and like uh, are you gonna have it kind of be like a serious documentary yeah, I just put like, air like quotes a, guys uh, like a serious documentary have some of it in black and white and then in color as well ooh I didn't think about that just you know to portray like this is serious and then it's like well, you the, guys the, playing the dramatic football. music yes, the slow yes. motion alright yes I would watch that 
Uh, I had watched If that. you guys want to see it, let it's me know. It's going to be on our podcast link. Uh, I did want to talk about something. Okay. You're out of here soon. Yeah. You're graduating and you're leaving me. Solo uh, dolo. And I'm sad. Yeah. I'm going to be I honest. Be too. I, I don't know how I'm going to continue, but I'm going to have to find a new co-host uh, yeah. <laughs> because I don't think you guys want to hear me just talking It's just myself. him talking to him. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so actually, if you want to be the next co-host... Reach, reach out. out. Ooh. Whoa. That, that's what I'm talking about. You got to be as good as us. You got to have that connection. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and obviously, Cece, there will never be another you. Um, there could never be. But, you know, I think it gives somebody an opportunity to... Uh, Go ahead and transfer to shine. And, and, yeah. Uh, you know, we're going to have a different dynamic. Uh, different but, energy. Yeah. But I think, you know, we could still make a great show out of it and uh, continue on for my senior year. I would agree. Last one, best one. And maybe we keep it going after that. I have um, faith in you. I think you'll blow up and I'll come back as a I'll come back as a guest and I'll be I, I've definitely realized like I've always wanted to start a podcast for a while. And I think I've realized that like I'm it's a good lot more at this. Work. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow! It is a lot more work than I thought. Cece, it would be. Cece's like you suck, and I'm like I. <laughs> I think I'm kind of good Tim at this. Said this is the best thing I've ever done in my life, and I'm like okay, you're not very good at it. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, he, I never said he wasn't good at it. By the way, no, I know. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, no, I. I love this, and I think I can, not make a career out of it, but I can do it on the side. Do, yeah, for um, sure. Um, <laughs> it's funny. The other title I was going to go with for this podcast was. Everybody has a podcast nowadays. I remember, and that was extremely long. It was too long. I think we couldn't go it on a T-shirt. Yeah, it could. It could have went on a T-shirt. We yes. should we should have made life as a highway T-shirts. I mean, it's not too late. <sighs> we only have three yeah. weeks left of school. Making it and then having to promote it. Yeah. Uh, next year, next year we will have T-shirts and uh, merch, stickers, and uh, merch, merch. Yeah, pants. We can do some pants shorts. What kind of pants? Sweatpants. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just put the logo on the side. I like that. What's our logo? Oh, I know what our logo is. Yeah. <laughs> I was the one that designed it on Canva, by the way. Shout out to Canva. Shout out to Canva. Uh, please sponsor us. Canva. <laughs> I'm a Canva. Uh, Enthusiast. I love Canva. Yeah, it's uh, a, lot of great, just... a lot of great tools. Uh, it takes takes a while to get used to and, and understand all the tools, but once mm-hmm. you do, it's a... Uh, it's a great uh, tool. I actually just discovered Canva education, like education oh. Canva. It gives you all the other, um, like, I can blur out the background or erase the background completely in my creation. So that was great. It's a great um, little discovery. I wanted to ask you how your weekend was. My weekend? We, we talked about the day. Now let's, let's go back in time weekend. a little bit. Go mm-hmm. back in time. So, oh, I just hit the mic. So, um, I don't know if you guys I, know I've this. I've done that with my hat so many times. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this or if Tim even knows this, but I'm in a sorority. Okay. Um, the greatest sorority in the world. Delta Sigma? Sigma Theta Sorority okay. Incorporated. Okay. It's one of the D9 sorority fraternities, um, part of NPHC. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, And we had our... So because we have a, our chapter is joint with Wright State, and we had a NPHC um, unity picnic thing at their school. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I don't, if for those of you that don't know what strolling is, um, you got to see it to know what it is. Whoa. Um, I don't stroll, though. Um, I You're try, not a stroller? I, no, I try not no. to. Okay. Nah. Um, but yeah. I did that, and then, like I said, last night, I was out in these streets. Um, <laughs> I was on Central's campus living my best life. It's a HBCU, and I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm black. So, yeah, fill in Never, the blanks. I didn't know that. Yeah, Central and Wilberforce, they're HBCUs. They're like 20 minutes, 30 minutes down the road. Okay, what is strolling? Ooh, we're, looking, we're looking that up, folks. Let's see what that comes up with oh it's gonna say something about walking well yeah it's walking along okay uh sorority maybe what is what is sorority strolling here we go uh 
forms a line, forms a line, and performs choreographed moves. Does that seem? That's pretty accurate. Okay, <laughs> I uh, not a, I can't dance that well, so I'm not a big fan of line dances. Uh, it's a little bit different. Not everyone can do these type of uh, moves. Yeah, because. Apparently not you, though. No, I'm allowed to do them. Not everyone is allowed to do them. Oh, okay. Yes. If you're not part of any of the D9 sorority fraternities and you're caught doing them, it's just not very... You're called a perp. <laughs> yeah. Perpetrator. Your oh, yeah. Yeah. You're headed to the slammer? I guess. It's, it's, or what it's it, a little bit it, disrespectful when other it, people do them. Okay. Sure. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. We got a new ongoing joke, folks. Yep. Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, well, that's a good weekend. Mm-hmm. What'd week, you do? My weekend was good. Uh, Saturday night, went to a little party. Oh. Uh, little party. What? what little party? party? No, little party. Little, little party. Little party. Little darty. About, about forty, forty-five people. Okay. It was night. In the time. house. In the house. In the house. Uh, department. <laughs> there was, oh, there was a lot maybe of people. don't there say was... that on <laughs> Haha, not a UD apartment. Yeah, no, not this was a... an apartment off campus. There you go. Um, yeah, my friend invited me, and uh, it was a really, really good time. I, I was there from like 9.45 to, I want to say, like 2.15. Uh, In the morning? You stayed up until 2 a.m. <laughs> on a school night, so I don't... Okay, you're right. I don't want you to... Not I judged you, and I just... You're right. You're right. Um, no, it was a lot of fun. Uh, some karaoke towards the end of the night. A little karaoke, okay. Yeah. I'm a huge karaoke fan. What's your go-to karaoke song? I hate one? karaoke. Okay, cool. <laughs> but if you had to pick one, if you had to pick I a hate song, karaoke. <laughs> okay, uh, you will not catch her karaoke. Ever. Or strolling. Well, you might catch me strolling. Okay. You like but strolling never, more than karaoke? Yeah. Never. Is it because you can't sing or you just don't can't like Can't sing, up can't there? dance. Uncoordinated. Okay, cool. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um no, the, the issue is is we were doing karaoke. Mm-hmm. But we've been like screaming and singing the whole night. Uh so by the time it was like one thirty we were doing the karaoke, uh I could barely like talk. So, you know, I go I go home two fifteen. Uh, I have a bacon mac and cheese waiting for me in my refrigerator. Must be nice. Where'd you get that from? Uh, Empo. Oh. So I got oh. it from Empo. Uh, and I uh, heated it up, watched some Friends. The show? Or like yes, actual the show Friends? Friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I watched my Friends. <laughs> from, from, uh, from outside... Uh, into a window, I watched my friends. <laughs> I was looking at them <laughs> from a distance. Okay, you're shopping for pants. <sighs> he knows this. <laughs> I was like trying to hide. He, I wasn't scrolling through Instagram if that makes you feel any better. She uh, she flashed her phone. On accident. Accidentally. And I see she's scrolling and uh, I'm shopping. shopping for pants. So we're going to need that phone off. <sighs> uh, Tim, I'm actively listening to you and shopping for pants. That's actually impressive. Because I can, I can hear. I'm looking at pictures. Okay. Well, how are you feeling about the pants? I walk us through it. I want to wear pants and like design them. Yep. But the thing is, I don't know how I want to design them, and I don't know if I should do a blue pant mm-hmm. or a white pant because I saw a white, white pant, pant could go hard. That's Duran had the white pants. Yeah, and that right? was fire. And that's what well, I'm. Well, Duran had the cream fit. This They're was... gonna be cream. They're. I'm thinking yeah. cream. Yeah. And he did have. He did have that. Dude, orange. he had the beanie cream beanie. It was cream, cream on cream short. on cream. It was wild. Fire, literally. Absolutely heat. Uh, Duran, one of the. F- Fashion icons. I of the, ten out of ten uh, for sure. That was nice. Uh, do you watch any of the NCAA tournament? Basketball. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, shout out to UConn for winning it. That's my uh, state. So, University of Connecticut. Uh, You're I, from Connecticut. Yeah, I'm from Connecticut. Since when, dude? I've told you this. I've probably said it on this podcast like five times. He's never said that. I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was telling uh, President Spina that I was from Connecticut. What was I doing? I'm probably looking for pants <laughs> <laughs> on the on the phone. Um, yeah, so you know it's funny. The coach asked uh, Todd Hurley, I think his name is, uh, when I was in high school, he actually called me. He was like, "Hey, you know, we want you to be uh, on the team." 
And I had to turn them down because, you know, I also wanted to cure cancer. Uh, and, and you, you couldn't you, do both you, at the same time? You can't do both time. at the same time. Were you thinking that maybe you might have had time after you cured it, or did you, you just weren't oh, going to look back on it? Yeah. I, I, well, now I have time because i got a podcast. Right, um, right. Did you ever happen to cure that cancer, though? Did you ever break through with that one? Well, or? it's classified at the moment. Okay. Uh, right. It's under investigation. All right. Not, you know, each cure has to go through an investigation. Right, right? just to make it's, sure. It's, no, it's, it's nothing like you did anything illegal or right. investigate you. Right. It's just doing some testing right now. So To make sure it's... We, we can't disclose that information right now. Okay. Um, But but it, it's uh, it's been a successful... Uh, last couple of 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 months and years. For That's us. great. That's great to hear for you. Yeah. For sure. When did you? Um, oh, mm-hmm. sorry. Finish your finish. Like you talked to him. What did? What was he like? Was yeah. He saying? You know, he was just like, we want you on the team. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, I just, I can't right I now. I have too much stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, would have would have loved to be a part of that that right bad to bad championship team because that you were supposed to be on that team. Right. No. Uh, and you know, I think what certain things in life happen for certain reasons yeah and, uh now i'm at the university of dayton uh yeah. doing a podcast and do you think you'll go back to you know professional cool? basketball yeah. no i don't think so okay. uh, i think my days of that are over maybe uh, f- uh fly football yeah. flag football would maybe, be your maybe next that's in. yeah and i think i'll see you on some netflix documentary maybe <laughs> in a few years yeah maybe we can sign netflix to do this school uh documentary flag football documentary yes. Uh, I can talk to my guy over there. I think that'd be fabulous. That's great. Uh, but yeah, and uh, it was a yeah, it was a difficult decision, but I had to make mm-hmm. it. Uh, yeah, I I hope everybody listening knows that I'm joking. He's not joking. He's just humble. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. See, see, don't even play with him. <laughs> I'm joking. I did not cure cancer, nor did I get a call from Todd Hurley saying, "Come join the team." I fell for it. Uh, <laughs> I, did. I did not. Uh, but shout out to UConn for winning. I'm so excited. Uh, I had this ongoing joke where we were watching the games, and I would be like, I went to high school that guy. <laughs> oh, I went to high school that guy. No way. I went to high school that guy. Oh, I thought you like actually went to high school with one of the no. guys. And I was like, wait, which one? That was the one? ongoing joke. Oh, so every guy. Every guy I went to high school with. Yeah. I'm a funny guy. People, you know. I think people do think that. Pe- people think that I'm funny. That's like, whenever I ask, or no, whenever somebody's like, oh, what do you what do you think of Timmy J? Everybody's like, it's funny guy. That's the first thing he says. I think that's what people also say when they th- talk about me. Yep. Yeah. See? Yep. Okay. Come, yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, What's next on the uh, list? Oh, Mason Ramsey concert. That was awesome. I did not know who that was. I didn't know who it was, enough, so I didn't go. But then I saw a picture of him, and I was like, the yodeler? The yodeler. The Walmart Here's the funny yodeler. Thing. First of all, absolutely, like, crushed that. He He's good? He He's good. For 17 years old, like, he has the potential to, like, better than Shawn Mendes, better than, maybe even better than Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber at that age, or Justin Bieber in general? In his prime, he could be better than Justin Bieber. Okay, I was about to say, because Justin Bieber is pretty good right now, I feel like. Uh, no, I mean, he he just blew the blew the roof off. Um, even it was though, outside. Even though we were outside, no <laughs> so there's no roof, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I went. It was, it was fun. Um, yeah, he just... He crushed it. And he sang Suspicious Minds by Elvis... Just absolutely. Ooh, I like when people sing Elvis songs. It. Yeah, he said it was his favorite song. Uh, Mason and I also go way back. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. You know that guy? Yeah, you know he, went school school? That guy? he went to my high school. He went to my high school. You know, they actually asked me to do the show, mm-hmm. the concert, and I was like, you know what? Can't. I'll let my brother B- Mason yeah. have it. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I get it to him, but he, you're he crushed in school it. School and you you can't be on tour, right? And and. Uh, yeah, I I appreciated the call, but right. you know, I need to turn it down and, and right. let Mason have it. And I definitely completely understand that, like being right. you know not being able to do your um, job because you have this other job, the podcast school. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a podcast. Yeah, uh, or that's a job. The yeah. podcast is a job. We actually get paid zero dollars an hour. And that's better than being paid negative. Yeah, one dollars an hour. So imagine losing money. 
Oh yeah, imagine losing money to be, actually we we did lose money on one episode, but we're not going to talk about that. It, that is not official though. Oh, you guys didn't hear our unofficial episode. Sorry, just kidding. <laughs> I don't even know which episodes. The Sasha one, right? Yeah, that's unofficial. She said, "No, no, I'm saying that we haven't gotten word whether or not we lost." Oh, gotcha. Uh, essentially, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, if we swear uh $40,000 Find. Yep, find four thousand dollars. Not out of our pockets, out of our buddy Roy's. He wouldn't like that. So no, we don't swear on our podcast. Yeah. yeah. But one may have slipped a few weeks ago. Well, it's it's still is that a swear word is still up in the air. Up in the air. Uh we haven't heard anything, so uh, I, I don't I don't think, think s- we're suspended. Swear word I don't think swear words oh, that was a tongue twister a little bit. Yeah. I don't think they're actually curse words. I just think they're words that people made up and someone was like, oh, don't say that. That's bad. And now everyone's like, oh, don't say that. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, but Mason absolutely killed it. Um, has the potential to be. Uh, it's a potential to win a Grammy, right? Is that? You think so? Absolutely. Uh, Billy actually. Billy Eilish. Oh. I'm like Billy, who she won the record. She, I think she was t- she's 21 years old and she won a gra- Grammy, if I'm correct. I love or, Billy. Yeah. Billy Eilish. If you're listening to this, she's phenomenal. Uh, one of my favorite artists. Yeah, she's got really nice like vocals. Incredible talent. Uh, incredible person. You know who I like for real? For Miley real, Cyrus. Real? Miley, okay. I had a Hannah Montana poster in my room when I was a kid. <laughs> yep, I'm pl- I'm proud to say that. I'm happy for you. <laughs> that was a, that uh, was a good uh, living a double life. I think that was my favorite part about her. <laughs> the fact that she was living the double life, literally. Yeah, I mean, what an icon. Literally, it's got to be tough going to high school and, and you know being a pop star. I mean, obviously, I've experienced. I, I've yeah, experienced I know you that. know what it's like. Yeah. I've never. I don't know what that's um, like. To be honest, it's it's difficult. Right? Yeah. Um, I bet. But, I can only know, imagine. There's always going to be another mountain. <laughs> and you're always going to want to make it move, but you, you, you got to stay right where you are and, and not make it move. To the other side. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, For sure. <laughs> yeah, no, Miley, Miley's incredible. Uh, so is Mason Ramsey. Uh, yeah. All right. Moving on. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, my beef with lettuce. Yeah, this is a... I was confused. <laughs> I thought you were saying beef meat with lettuce. No, no, no. I have beef with lettuce, ladies and gentlemen. I think lettuce is the most overrated uh, food of all time. I think it, I think it takes the taste away from things, uh, and it has no taste. Okay, let me ask you, what kind of yep. lettuce? Is it all lettuce or just... Shredded lettuce or just like normal lettuce that you'd put on like a burger or something like that. So just all lettuce basically is what you're Every, saying? All lettuce. Uh, there's only like two kinds, right? Shredded and then a... Uh... No, I'm saying like iceberg. Oh. No, I I just don't like lettuce. I And you know, you know, it's... it's lettuce is acting like a top five player in the league <laughs> when in reality, like... He's being carried on a like on a burger, let's say. He's being carried by tomato, mm-hmm. onions, mm-hmm. mustard, or, a, or any condiment, right? None of the things you're saying go on my burger, so. Me, me neither, typically, but like when I'm thinking of what's better than uh, lettuce, mm-hmm. it's it's at it's at the it's bottom. Everything. It's, it's at the bottom of the list, right? Okay. Uh, I like lettuce. Maybe some mayonnaise, right? I don't uh, like mayo. Bacon. Mm, good, good, good. Bacon on the burger. Okay. Uh, you know, I just don't think it's it's in that in that S tier list or or even close to it in reality. And I think a lot of people act like it is. I I think it's like the sponge of food, right? It, I would argue. Okay. Would you like me to argue now? Yeah, you let's want me go. Wait? Let's hear it. I would argue that lettuce is better than an onion, a tomato. Why? Because it ha- it has no I taste. Actually, let me. Yeah, I know. Let me tell you this one thing. One of my friends doesn't eat vegetables, but she'll have lettuce. Okay. Hmm. I only eat lettuce, cheese, and ketchup on a burger. Okay, that's fair. I don't like burgers. My my thing is, 
Mm-hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't taste like anything, and it takes the taste away from things. Right? How does it take the taste away though? It soaks it all up, and then it it doesn't uh, produce. It's bland. Mm. It's a bland thing to eat, and you know people are like, oh, it doesn't taste like anything, so it can't be bad. That's not true because. If you have a cookie that tastes like nothing, <laughs> that's a bad cookie <laughs> compared to what you think a cookie should that's taste a like. a bad cookie. It's a bad cookie, right? Um, and, you know, I, I just don't think it's it's up there with the best vegetables in the game. What do you think the you know, best vegetables oh, in the game yeah. are since we're discussing? You got carrot, right? Carrot was your number one choice? Yeah, carrot, carrot, uh, carrot can play. Carrot can't play in my game. In what sense? You're going to tell me lettuce is better than a carrot? I'm 100%. You're sick. <laughs> That's wild. You're sick I in the good, head. I have good eyesight because I love carrots so much. Carrots? Like, you? okay. Mushrooms, garlic. You're just saying nasty things. Wait, stop. Pause. You're telling me- you're t- Let's go back to the carrot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cooked or raw? I can't- I like it raw. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa. Next question. <laughs> I like having carrots raw. I don't even um, think that sounded right. Anyway, um, <laughs> raw carrots are kind of sick. I could do a cooked or roasted carrot. How about garlic, right? Garlic's up I there. like garlic. Garlic goes in everything, quite right, literally exactly. everything. And the thing with onions, okay, raw onions maybe not, but I don't mind an grilled onion. or caramelized I don't better than lettuce. No. They're, ugh, I don't mind an onion, but I'm not going to go, let me get an onion on my burger. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not going out of my way to get onion on my burger, but maybe I'll That's go out of my saying. way to get onion on a Philly cheesesteak. I am going out of my way to get onion, I mean, lettuce on my burger, though. Uh, yeah, I, I guess, like, what is it adding to it, though? What is lettuce adding to it? Yeah. A little, little watery crunch. A little okay, watery crunch. Okay. Yeah. A little watery crunch. You can also drink water. I don't like water. <laughs> Do you see the predicament that I'm in? Okay, How else am I going to okay. get my nutrients... If I don't drink the things that I need to be drinking, if I can't eat the vegetables that I like. Yeah, that's fair enough. My favorite vegetables actually have like 90% water. Let's start at the top of the list. Cucumber. Cucumbers are a great one. Because I love pickles. So I got to love cucumbers. Cukes. I, I put cucumbers over pickles in my opinion. Oh, I ain't say all that. I'm just putting cucumbers <laughs> up. And then we got broccoli. Green Broccoli's beans. Great. Green beans actually number green beans, one. Green beans hit. Give me a green bean casserole. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm not feeling that one. You ever had a tuna casserole? No. Sick. Um, Yeah, tuna. Damn. I, I mean, dang, dang. I didn't mean to. That's how tired I am, y'all. I'm just letting these all these words slip. Not um tuna. Green beans. I have green beans. I got nothing after that. That was it. Oh, we got spinach. I spinach, love green, yep. green spinach vegetables. Spinach can get the job done. Yeah, uh, that's really it. I don't. I don't really like peppers. <gasps> Mixed peppers. Yeah, with onions. Yep, 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 yep. I like that. A little sautéed action. Man, a pepper always gets the job done too. That's what I'm saying. A mixed pepper, like uh, a mixed celery. Red. Well, you, you give celery I, uh, in the vegetable. It, it's, it's a, a vegetable. Yeah. Right? I eat. Yeah. I eat celery. It's just not up like not up in the now, top. Now listen, when I'm having some buffalo wings or hot wings. I lo- Yo, Give yeah. Me some celery, you know what I'm saying? I need ranch. You ranch or blue cheese? Ranch. For sure. Ranch. That was a good answer. I just, I usually don't use it. I just go. I don't either. It's just there for looks, uh, you know? I'm not going to say what I was about to say. Mm. I said I like it raw. Oh. I was going to say I like You're it You're going to run that back one more yep. time? Gotcha. Um, no, I, yeah, I like a good celery stick with uh with my wings. I would concur that I also like a good cell, a nice crunch. Not yep. one that like yep, strings yep, 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 back yep, yep. when you try to bite it. I mean one that breaks off. I guess all I was saying is that uh lettuce is out of its prime. It's it's not, it's not what it used to be and then it's it doesn't perform in the clutch moments when you need it to and Um I'm not going to sit here and agree with anything that you're saying right now. Somebody tried to tell me that the best part of the salad was the lettuce. Isn't yeah, that, that the that's entire crazy. part of the salad, basically, though? That's like the base. That's like saying my favorite part of pizza is the crust. The, okay, I will say I will say this about pizza and the crust. I think the crust is the most important part of the pizza. I would agree. If the crust is nasty, I don't want the pizza. 100%. 100%. 
Um, I'm trying to scroll up because I had this argument with people in my group chat. Ah, uh, corn. Oh, no. I mean, ah, uh, it depends. It's corn. <laughs> it's corn. It depends. It has the juice. It has the juice. Not singing the song. We do not own the copyrights to any song sung on this podcast. Well, obviously. Unless that wasn't clear. Um, uh, give it to me. Give it to me. Like what? And what? What form? How are you thinking? On the cob. On the cob, boiled. On the cob, grilled. Yep. Which? Uh, on the cob. On the cob, boiled. On the cob, grilled. Boiled. What you putting on it? Butter. And you stopping there. Cayenne pepper. You ever had a lote? No. That's just corn in Spanish, but lote. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they call it lote, but it's like it's just corn in Spanish. But it's got a corn mayo. That sounds crazy. Mayo butter, some pepper, and some cheese. Oh my goodness. That sound good? Yeah. That's how I like it. Yeah. I so, 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 right, that's above lettuce. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. That's, that's levels that's, above that's lettuce. That's a corn salad, basically. Ooh. That's a corn salad. That's a corn salad. Let me see what else we got here. Potatoes. Potatoes are a vegetable. You put uh, that above wait. lettuce. Wait. Potatoes not a vegetable. Yes, it is. Potato starch. Just because it grows from the ground doesn't mean it's a vegetable. He's are, looking it up. Are Fact potatoes check. a vegetable? Fact check. Here we go. Moment of truth. Uh, a potato is in fact a bo- starch. botanically vegetable, and we can confirm that they also belong to the carbohydrate group. Starch. One of the three. Okay. One so yeah, okay, both. We win. Yeah, we both. we win. We win. Yeah, we win. That, that's a win for us. Us. And uh, we're gonna fist bump fist to that. Bump. Um, yeah, potatoes. Potatoes is like if I ever died. If I ever died. Yeah, if I ever die and came back to life and they told me I could only eat one food for the rest of my life uh, to stay alive that the was, second time, it'd be a potato. So that was my, that was actually one of the questions I had in my question list. Oh. I think I would have to go with a breakfast burrito. That's not, okay, fine. Yeah, it's got a little bit of everything in it, right? You get the uh, the cheese, right? The egg, the, the meat, whatever meat you want. Uh, you get the vegetables, right? That's a healthy choice. It's not something that I'm going to die from in 50 years. If I have a burger every day for my life. I'm I wonder gonna... if I had a potato every day for my life. Like, this got to be, like, the most least nutritionist thing. I want to tell you a story. There was one time where a potato flew around my head. A potato flew, flew around, around my room. And my... Okay, that was a <laughs> stupid joke. We're going to move on. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was good, though. The harmony, the harmonizing, us together. Give me a hot take. A CC hot take. Hmm. Hot take. You want me to give you? Yeah, mine you give first? me. You give me when I. Give well, you. I I guess lettuce was one of them. Yeah. Me hitting lettuce was one. So of them. So like unpopular opinion. Unpopular opinion. Thin men are the best girls for got cookie. That was a majorly unpopular opinion. People that eat thin mints, um, mint chocolate chip ice cream, uh-huh. sick. You like to eat chocolate covered toothpaste. Absolutely. That's the energy you give. <laughs> you should see the face I'm making right now. He's looking at me like, "Oh dang, I'm disgusted." Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Um, no, I, I, I don't like Samoas. I don't. That's people, okay. people say Samoas are the best. So what's the best then? Toast yay. Toast yay. Okay. You had those. They're yeah, the new I ones have, that came out. I have. I have a. <laughs> I have a video. Or on lemon. My... No. Are you lemon kidding with me? The, with the what you call it on the bottom? What about the? Um... There's a peanut butter one. The new peanut butter one? I haven't had no, that. No, no, no. Like, old peanut butter one. Oh, I'm allergic to peanut butter. Okay, that that's a problem. I'm not actually allergic, but my doctor said I was. I'm not allergic, but my doctor said I was. <laughs> okay. I eat peanut butter just fine. Yep, okay. <laughs> yep, okay. Um, oh, a hot take that I have. Here we go. Unpopular opinion. Oh, why can't I think of any? I can't stand the arm. I'm kidding. <laughs> Track is the best sport. Okay. I like that. And I'll say this. It might not get as much publicity or as many fans as other sports do. But without our sport, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to do your sport. Whoa. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Be- yeah. Best sport. 
is is a is a tough debate there. Um, I think it depends on what you like to watch. I hate watching football. You but, like watching track? Yeah, actually. And I, but I only like wa- and I like watching swimming. You hate watching football? Yeah, and I can't get into watching basketball either. Okay. But I like watching swimming and track, which I think is crazy. Water polo, a shuffleboard. I think I like shuffleboard because I want to play shuffleboard. Dude, I would be when I'm like seventy five years old. That's your. Yeah. That that I'm gonna be an, mm-hmm. an insane pickleball player. I'm playing pickleball. Shuffle. I am playing pickleball. Can, pickleball is my favorite sport can we ever. Not both play pickleball. No, I am playing pickleball. <laughs> And plus, I'll be 80 before you will, so you have to pick a different sport. <laughs> I, I'm, wait, actually, I guess I need somebody to play against me. So I guess yeah. you can play. Okay. I'll just play with the ball and the wall. Wall ball. Wall ball. We uh we used to have a game back in the day, back when I was in elementary school. Oh, yeah? And I I think I can say back in the day now, because elementary school was... A while ago. You're, 10... Holy cow. 10 years ago, almost? Holy cow. Right? We're old. We're old. Are we? We're, we got to start playing I, shuffleboard. I drove past a right. I drove past a elementary school today or a middle school, and I was like, "Dang!" Because you love driving past At little kids <laughs> establishments. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna go get my dress tailored. That's why I was driving. Okay, cool. What's What's the rest of your story? That was it. It was just making me sad because uh, I yeah. realized that like, like I'm like done with school, and they're like. Yeah. Basically just starting. They haven't even been to high school yet. She I, like I she's think, struggling over there. I think sometimes what gets to me is the fact that I wish I could be in high school again with the mind of a 21-year-old, if that makes sense. So, like, knowing all the information I know now and mm. uh, everything that I've gone through and having the experience that i have gone through in the last four years... I wish I had that when I was in high school, but you can't, right? Right. And you don't. Uh, and you can't go back on it. I can't go back unless I build a time machine. But if I build a time machine, to be honest, high school's not the uh, place I'd want to go back to. If I'm to be honest, where are you trying to go back to? Um, that's a great question. Probably not high school. I don't know. No, where, you said I'm, anywhere but high school. I don't know where I'd go, but high school is definitely not on the list. I just relive college again. Okay, well, I maybe high school too. High school. I'd be fun. a billionaire because I I would just bet on. I know who won. Right, like oh, I bet this team's gonna win the World Series. That's smart because I've I watched that team win the World Series. Uh, it's a little ha- little money glitch hack that I can. Ness. Yeah, yeah. Um, man, where would I where would I want to go back? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, moving on. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. Let me see what else I got. I got some. I got some good stuff. Guys, Tim is hitting it off with all these questions. I had absolutely nothing. I was just nothing come in here prepared. She came in unprepared. Yep. Very. And I, she was like, "Yeah, I'll just go off of you, man." And he's like, "Well, I gotta come up with something. Well, get to it then, Tim. Get to it." No, no, you said I'm gonna come up with some stuff. I know. I'm telling you to get to it. <laughs> Get to coming up with okay. some stuff. Okay, I I I've come up with some stuff. I'm gonna read them off. All right, come on, get to it. Jeez, man, get to it. Uh, I hate taking people. I hate taking pictures with tall people. Is it because you're short? Yeah, it's because I'm short. I don't have that issue. I am short, but I'm a girl. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Tim's being mean to me today. I... <laughs> <laughs> he knows it's true. I think I'm a little hungry. I am too. What do you think about? Let's take a little break from this. What do you think about eating? Probably a cheeseburger. That sounds fire. I actually have only eaten a fruit cup and a banana today. That's a problem. What did you eat today? I had a uh, classic bacon and cheese from Bacon and Cheese. Uh, bacon and Cheese. Bacon and Cheese. <laughs> bacon and Cheese. Uh, and then for lunch, I had a uh, bacon cheeseburger. What's up with you and bacon? I... It needs to be in all your meals? Yeah, I need that sodium. No, I'm <laughs> uh, Just happened that today I had bacon cheeseburger as well. I bet you'll have another... Where'd you get that from? Uh, Q. Oh, yeah. Not Q. Yeah, Is downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. No, what's the place name? Oh, there's Q and Spice. Yeah. 
You didn't get it from Spice. No, I got it from Q. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they make great burgers. Uh, so if you're from you do listen to this. Uh, do that. Anyway, uh, I take pictures with tall people. Uh, right, I went to a party, as I mentioned. And I, t- I took pictures. I'm going to show CC the pictures. Uh, you won't be able to see them unless I flash them on the screen uh, with my editing powers. Um, I, j- I look so short. And I can't really stand it. Oh, maybe you should sit in the middle. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, know. I don't know, but I feel like it, it would look even worse if I was in the middle. You on the end, you look little. You can look yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I I'm not. I, I don't feel like I'm that short. Like I'm five. I think five, it might have six. also been. Is it at a point five? Point five time? No, 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 no. It's it's regular. It's a regular picture. Damn short. Um. Damn is short. And then like even this. I mean, this one's not too bad because it's. Maybe you should have stood on the couch or something. Here's a funny story. Are you wearing a fedora? No, it's a like Irish uh cap. Mm. Kind of like Pinky Blinders. Okay, I don't watch that. Want uh, there's your homework. <laughs> um, yeah. So here's a funny story. <laughs> I remember it. <clears throat> it was Christmas. Mm-hmm. We go to visit my grandmother. My grandma's like four nine, Jeez. five four ten. She's a small person. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I was just doomed, pretty much. <laughs> um, and my parents aren't like. I think my mom's like five four, and then my dad's like five seven or something like that. So I really never had a chance to be tall. Um, and so I go and and we're you know saying goodbyes. And I'm like, oh nanny, let's take a picture. It's my I would call my grandmother the nanny. Um, nanny. Yeah. What what would your grandmother name be? Grandma. Okay. Or Nana. 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 Okay. Nana was my sister's name because I couldn't say her name. Yeah. Um, I think I, so my grandfather was Poppy. My, my dad, my I called My grandpa him, was Pop. Well, my dad, I, uh, I call him Pops. Mm. So may, maybe continue on with that legacy, Pops. Will you be Pops? Yeah, I'd be Pops. To your dad, I mean to your kids. No, 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 to my grandchildren. Oh, I thought you said you call your dad Pops. Right, I call my dad Pops, but I wouldn't want to be called Pops. Oh, you'd want your grandchildren. Grandchildren call me gotcha. Pops. One, once I have grandchildren. Um, yeah, okay. Let me see what else I got. Uh, how would you rob a bank? <laughs> I wouldn't. That's against the law. No, I have this planned out. <laughs> He's been. He was like, I actually didn't <laughs> care about your answer. I wanted to tell I wanted a little to tell about my mine, answer. Yeah. I uh, I would get a job at the bank. Okay. What are you doing at the bank? What job? Janitoring or janitoring. You know, okay. Uh, I didn't know that was a word. Being being a janitor, if you want to be technical. Janitoring. Um, it t- janitoring should be a word. I think way. it feels like when you said it, it, I was. It feels like it should be a word. When you said it, I had faith that it Although was. Although Dr. Seuss also thought many words should be words. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I, I would get a job. Uh, janitoring. Mm-hmm. Janitoring, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, while you're down in that in that vault basement, right, mm-hmm. uh, janitoring. Yeah, as one would as a janitor. Sure. Yes. Uh, slowly but surely, cut a little hole in the wall. How are you doing this without making any noise? White, like white noise. You know, have some music going in the background so people don't hear the, you know. And you think that you could just jig a hole through the wall? Ah, uh, you know, possibly. Okay, continue. Uh, or, or, you know, make sure I have a layout of the vents. Mm-hmm. So, grab a ladder. Mm-hmm. Get the vault, get in the vault. Through the hole or through the vent? Uh, what do you mean? You said... Get in, the, the, get in the vault because I know the password because I'm a janitor. Why the, would you know the password to the vault as a janitor? You know what you're right. You're going to have to get a I, better I, job. Yeah, I have some... I have some uh, you flirt with the lady that has the number. Here it is. That's a good idea. While she's putting it in. Yep, 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 yep. So you can watch her. So I can watch it. Yes. So now I have this code memorized and I go in and I get some duffel bags and mm-hmm. uh, put some money in and mm-hmm. go over the vents and 
you know, I'm out. You're escaping out of the events. I'm out before anybody even knows that, I'm, that I took the money. And then you come back to work the next day. Yeah, and I'm like, what happened to the, to the money? Yeah. So they don't think it's you. Right. That's smart. Return back to the crime scene. And keep working like everything's usual. Right. Every, everything, you know, I'm just, uh, uh, just a regular Joe. Regular Joe. So I think that might work. Um, but let me know what you guys think. How would you rob a bank? Um, yeah, let us know because I'm genuinely curious to see if your idea is better than Tim's. <laughs> Uh, what would you do if you won the lottery? Hmm. Let's say $747 million. Um, now let's just pretend that government takes like half of that. I'm going to buy a house and then I'm going to How, how buy much it. is the house? Just It's just a regular 100000 100000 Yeah, a little regular house. Okay, okay. And then I'm going to, it's not no mansion, just, a, you know. Regular, maybe three bedroom house in Texas, and then I'm gonna buy some more land. Yep, because I gotta land. get yep. some goats and Absolutely. some cows and horses and stuff like chickens and you know, you know. Yeah. And then uh, I'm gonna buy two cars. Two cars, nice. One truck, one car, one little sports car, one truck. I'm gonna buy three cars because the third one. See, I can be see you family. driving a truck, man. Yeah. That's the energy I get. With the arm out of the window. Yes. Yes. Play, we do it. Play, yes. Playing the country we do it. Yes. Yeah, I can. Yes. Bop the head a yep, little bit. Yep. Little bop. Little bop. Yep. How, what would you? And that's pretty much all I would do. I'd probably also take myself out to eat. There's another question that I asked Cece. So, <laughs> so he could say so his that answer. You're gonna ask me back. Yes. And uh, I'd probably give my maybe answer. if I could buy a little island, maybe a little. I buy a little jet, little plane. Okay. Here we go. Go ahead. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Little yeah. Little jet. Little jet. Little plane. Well, you know, little, little jet. Little little plane. Little little uh, truck. Anyway. Mm. So okay, so I have four hundred, roughly f- four hundred forty billion million dollars to play mm-hmm, with, right? Mm-hmm. With after taxes, mm-hmm. um, which makes sense, right? You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I shouldn't have that much money. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so here we go. Uh. Buy a nice little house, get a nice little pool, hot tub. Uh, you were thinking bigger than I was. I yeah, forgot yeah, about yeah, the pool yeah, and the hot yeah, tub. Yeah, yeah, I need yeah, both of yeah, those yeah, too yep, as well. Yep. Same. Uh, put a golf simulator into the house. So that's 20K. So I think I'm also going to steal that one too. You don't play golf. Don't okay. do not do that. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. No, you can't I'm do sorry. That. Okay. You can't steal my ideas. Okay? Can I put a track in my backyard? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. With Thank all the you. property you own. Yeah. Um, okay, oh so probably house is like a million, maybe two million. Okay. You get the golf simulator. Mm-hmm. It's twenty thousand. Mm-hmm. Um, buy buy two or three comp- apartment complexes. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, no, no, no. Build a buy property and build a hotel. Okay. Make it like Where? the best hotel. I don't. Uh. And is it a resort or is it like? Yeah, no, it's a resort. So there's a pool. There's a on the beach. Right on the beach. What state? Where? Where in the world? I got too many questions for. Him. Where in the world? Okay. Um, it's a great question. Let me do a Hawaii. Ooh, he made me Let me do some a Hawaii. Money. Yeah, some yeah, money. yeah, yeah. Get some money. Get some money. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, a lot of people visit Hawaii. They want to stay at a hotel. So you get a nice little pool, basketball court in the uh, hotel. Mm. Indoor? Yep. Oh. Um, just everything you could ever want in a hotel. Yeah. All right. So that's gonna that's gonna run me probably a hundred million. Mm-hmm. Just just being being just, safe. Yeah. However, I'm making that back most likely. Yeah, that's going back in your pocket. Easy. Right. Right. If, if, Tourist if, attraction. If this hotel is. Uh, what I think it is and how much I put into it, it'll be, uh, I'll make that back easily. Right. So, make a profit, right? Buy Toys R Us back. All of them or just like one store, you'll have one? The, the, the entire the franchise. Business. Yeah. Okay. I like that about you. Buy reopen the stores. Yeah. Reopen the stores. I need somewhere to play. Really just, uh, 
all, the, all the nostalgia, <laughs> yeah, uh, everything you'd ever hope for in a Toys R Us, and that's gonna that's gonna bring me some money for sure. Because people are gonna maybe be like even a billion, right? Yeah, people are gonna be like Toys R Us, like Toys R Us is back. They're gonna maybe be talking about even it. a billion dollars. I agree. Uh, and I think that'll probably have to do it. I I, I play Pebble Beach, uh, which is a golf course in Florida. Mm. Um, I think it's like seven hundred dollars to play. A, like, what do you mean? Like a like a day? Like a round, yeah. To play a round, it's like seven hundred dollars. Why? You know what? That's where I build the hotel, at Pebble Beach. Why would you spend that much to play one golf course? It's like one of the best golf courses in the world. Fine. So that's why I'd spend it, uh, but only if I had oh, like seven hundred million dollars to play with. Fine. Um. So maybe that's also then I I would also build a hotel there. So I got two hotels. And Toys like, R Us. Okay, I thought you were just saying move your hotel there, but no, okay, no, no, no. two hotels. Then they got the house in Florida with the pool, the hot tub, and the golf simulator. Did you buy a car? Yeah, I get you know, like a, a little, a little regular, a little regular car, okay. Not, nothing too crazy. Okay, gets the job done. Uh, yeah, so that that's what I would do if I won the lottery. Uh, let us know what you would do if you won the lottery. Uh, and maybe we'll respond to it and, and uh, read it in the next episode, which oh yeah, drop us we'll some be, comments. We'll be recording on Wednesday. To this week. However, for now, it's time to wrap things up. Uh, life is a highway, and we talked. We about talked it. about it. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you. <laughs>